Welcome to Boomhauer 69 channel. And today Boomhauer is going to do a taste test of the Michelinas Cheeseburger Mac. They call this Cheeseburger Mac and Cheese, but they just call it Mac for short. It's basically like a hamburger helper. But here's what it looks like when you get it brand new in the store, never been opened. I, I get these at the dollar store for a dollar. They're only a buck. And there's the instructions of how to cook it and stuff. And then on the bottom, they also have here the nutritious facts and the, and how to cook it and stuff. All the different nutritious facts and how to actually properly cook the, um, the meal. And all you do is, is you just... You open where it says open here. You open this slightly at first to vent it. And then you then you put it in your microwave for three minutes. Stir. You stir it up really good after the three minutes. And then you put it back in the microwave for another two minutes. And then when it's fully cooked. This is what it will look like. It's. Kind of doesn't look gourmet compared to the picture like. Here's what it looks like after we cook, and then here's the picture. But it's got some beef in it, and it's kind of got, I would say, yellowish orange cheese, you know. And my first initial thoughts, you got to understand, it's a dollar, so it's not going to be, you know, necessarily the gourmet, beautiful hamburger helper mac and cheese, you know. If I was somebody on a budget, I would buy some of these, and then, and if I had some money for some, like, maybe a small thing of ground beef, then I'd probably add more beef to this, but. Or, what I normally do for hamburger helpers, I'll buy a cheap, cheap pack of mac and, macaroni and cheese, and make that up, and then ground up some beef and just mix it in, but, there's what it looks like. My initial thoughts is, it's, to me, it's mostly macaroni and cheese. There's not a whole lot of meat in it, you know. But, again, it's only a dollar, and if they, of course, added a bunch of meat to it, they would probably have to upper the price a little bit more. But, doesn't look bad. It looks yummy, you know. It looks good. I've had these before as a kid growing up, and it's been a while since I... When he, I used to eat a lot of these, the macaroni and cheese, and so I'll give this a little bit of a taste here. It don't taste bad. Tastes all right to me. It tastes like typical mac and cheese, and try one of the by itself here, one of the little beef pieces. And the beef is really good. And I'd say for if you only if you're uh, kind of on a budget and you only got a dollar and you want something that's yummy, I'd say get these. Because I get these at my local Dollar General, and they're only a buck in my in my state. They're only a dollar. And, and I remember in the past as a kid having the mac and roni and cheese. And, and my initial thoughts is, is, these are, I say it's yummy, you know. I'd give it, I'd give it a, uh, two thumbs up, five stars. Cause it's... It's one of those things you also got to remember the price, what you get for a buck, and and to me, with these, I think you're getting quite a bit for your, your money, you know. As they call it, you get a lot of bang for your buck, and, and I say these are really yummy, and, and I enjoy these. And I remember these from my childhood, that's why when I saw these at the dollar store for only a buck, I thought, woohoo, I would do a video about them because you know I haven't had them in a long time and I remember liking them as a kid. Then plus let's say you're you're on you're working at a company. Let's say you got a job that 
you don't get a very long break time or lunch time, you know. These would be perfect to throw in your throw in your lunch pail and have at your at, at your job, you know, because you only three, four, five in total. You only gotta spend five minutes making these, you know. You first put them on for three minutes, and you first open them up a little bit to vent, and then you put them on for you punch in your microwave three minutes, and then after three minutes is up, you're you stir it up real fast and then you throw it back in for another two minutes and, and voila in about five minutes you know you got a meal so my final thoughts on these Michelinas is I like them uh, they're like what I remember as a kid you know if you're don't got a whole lot of money to spend and you're and you're hungry you know you're and you ain't got a, a lot of money you know your budget is tight I would highly recommend these so yeah, if you like this sort of content, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I try to describe this best to my knowledge, and I gotta say it's real yummy and stuff, and and I enjoy it. And it tastes like macaroni to me. It tastes like your typical normal basic macaroni and cheese and beef, you know, you get the cheap on the cheap side, and. I think it's it's okay, you know, it's a good cheap meal, basic meal and stuff, so if you like this sort of content, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel, I'll be doing more product review videos and food review videos as time goes on and other content as well, you know, check out my channel, I got tons of videos already out there and hope you all have a good day and thank you for watching.